Now we are talking about uh, uh, the union's president. Max Ghosh, who has now, in fact, resigned from his position. We'll just break down all the developments for you bit by bit. Uh, now, in the latest, we know that all his social media handles have also gone private. But what's really going on and why have things reached this point? And why did he even uh, rig the elections, according to reports? Uh, now, this is reportedly to favor a friend as a successor. You heard that right. Uh, uh, Ghosh became the union's president. Uh, this was in a landslide victory earlier this year. And uh, he was appointed as returning officer for uh, the Easter elections. And he was responsible for overseeing the election and also enforcing the electoral rules. Now, that is far, as far as his role is concerned. Uh, the polls closed on Wednesday last week, and uh, that was on 14 June. And the votes were in, the results were to be announced. This was on Friday. So the announcement of the results was to take place on Friday, but then came a twist in the tail. What we know is that there was a complaint from the deputy returning officer for the vote, James Hardy. He wrote uh, to the review committee about the potential rigging. And he said that it was one of the most, I'm quoting, astonishing acts of electoral malpractice that he had ever seen. One of the most astonishing acts of electoral malpractice. Now, let's also tell you that Ghosh was the last person with access to the box of votes, and which is why uh, this twist in the tale is very important. The allegations where he had accessed a spreadsheet that listed all the votes and added entries from his own presidential campaign account from last year. Screenshots from the spreadsheet showed that a profile in Max Ghosh's name had amended the document. And uh, that was not once, but multiple times between 6.15 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Several membership num numbers had been added and some of them belonged to people who had left the university last year. And uh, this essentially me meant only two things. Either people had been voting post 6 p.m., which was the closing time in Ghosh's presence, or Max Ghosh had stuffed the ballot. And uh, soon an investigation was launched. It found a number of irregularities in the votes. And the union has suspended the vote for the next president until next year. Uh, Vice President Charlie Palmer has taken over the presidential post, is what we're understanding at this point. And let's just also tell you more about uh, the man in question. Ghosh is a second-year politics and international relations student. He's also an old Etonian and has a number of achievements under his belt. Uh, just to name a few, he served as the union's debates officer. He was also the vice chair of the Cambridge University Liberal Association. Ghosh campaigned to double the equalities budget and also create a union app. And he was due to serve as the president till November if he had not indulged in malpractice, which is also triggering another crucial question. What prompted him to do this? You see, the Cambridge Union is a, one of the oldest debating societies in the world. And it was established back in 1815. Uh, today, it has more than 70,000 life members, more than 70,000 of them. Many famous speakers, in fact, such as the Dalai Lama, Margaret Thatcher, uh, Ronald Reagan, even Stephen Hawking, have spoken on its platform and the likes of broadcaster Claire Balding as well, uh, economist John Maynard Keynes, just to name a few, uh, also former Conservative Party leader Michael Howard. They have been the union's presidents in the past. So that's what the legacy has been about. Uh, the society essentially offers a competitive environment. It, its members saying that everyone is hugely ambitious, to say the least. Uh, becoming the union's president uh, means landing a prestigious internship, often uh, with the members of parliament. And uh, But the question is, uh, overall, is it this ambition uh, which is fueling such malpractices? Remains to be seen if and when we get those answers. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.